Good morning, everyone. This is Gary Kay, and you're listening and watching my Daily Rants and Raves today. We're doing a special video version of my Daily Rants and Raves, of course, part of Rave Radio's podcast network. And I'm excited because we are gearing towards the ISE show in Amsterdam, the Integrated Systems Europe show in Amsterdam in just two weeks. And we are joined today by another special guest uh, who will be talking about what they're going to launch in Amsterdam. Uh, Sean Robinson is the Vice President of Product Management for AMX. Sean, good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great, Gary. How about yourself? I'm doing great, and I'm super excited about the show, and I'm sure you must be excited because AMX historically has used shows like ISC and Infocom to launch major new product lines. And I suspect, although you may, may not give us any of the specific details in this, on this video cast, I suspect you are going to go to the show and launch some new products. Yes, exactly. And, you know, ISC, uh, again, it's become such a critical show for us uh, in February. Um, and it's a great place to, uh, to announce products that are really tailored for the education market, too, as we get products out in the, uh, in the May time frame for the summer buying season. So that's a fantastic place we use to do that. And plus, with the, uh, the development uh, cycles that we have, the product development cycles, there are certain things that line up really much better with ISE than Infocom. Um, so those are going to be the two major shows that we announce most, uh, almost all product announcements around is Infocom and ISE. But ISE has become such a very big show for us from that uh, perspective. And... It's a fantastic show. I'll tell you, we have such great um, customer dialogue there and uh, great meetings with our European customers. And Amsterdam's a great place with some great food. Yeah, it's interesting. That it, it, the one third of the attendance of the show is actually not from Europe now. I mean, it's grown that much that you have Asia and the United States. In fact, the mm -hmm. largest growth area last year was from North American attendees. And, and we expect to see that again again this year. Speaking of your product uh, launches last year at ISC and the year before, if I recall, a lot of the brand new products that you launched at ISC shipped right around Infocom. ISC is an exciting show for a lot of people, and I'm sure you guys as well, not just for what you stated, but a lot of the products that you launch at ISC end up shipping right around Infocom. Um, so I think that's one reason why people should pay attention to ISE, even if they're not going to the show. And, of course, we'll be there covering the show live. Uh, you can follow it along at ravepubs.com. But, but in addition to that, as you mentioned, uh, the European attendees, there's attendees from all over the world there. Approximately a third of the attendees of the show, um, maybe even higher this year, are going to come from Asia and the United States with the U.S. and, and North America, I should say, uh, representing the largest growth of the show last year. Right, exactly, exactly. No, it's an excellent opportunity. We have some fantastic dialogue with customers from around the world there, um, and we really, really enjoy being able to use that as a launch pad for, like you said, a lot of new products that will be shipping in the Infocom time frame. So, so, so can I ask you about a couple of product categories? How's that? Sure. Well, yeah. I, obviously a big product category everybody's paying attention to right now is sort of the digital media switching part because now it's sort of like a hybrid of all the analog ports and digital ports, then all of it goes out through HD base T or possibly through the network, depending on which, which uh, type of product you're using. Uh, mm -hmm. Can we expect to see some new products along that product category? Yes, definitely. As you know, we've had our digital media solution, our Nova product line out to market uh, for two years now. And so during that time period, we've been taking in a tremendous amount of requests, uh, feature requests from our customers and really working with our customers to determine what's the best way to apply those feature requests. And so uh, you can expect some of those announcements at the ISE around that area. Um, and then also, of course, um, you know, 4K is the uh, hot uh, term right now and uh, a significant trend we're seeing. So you can expect some, some announcements in that area, too. So your, your picture has frozen, but everybody's still listening to this podcast, and, and you'll, you'll come back. Uh, everybody's still watching. There you go. You, you're back live now. So we're going right. to kind of keep going. Uh, <laughs> hey, now, how about um, the BYO? I mean, another product carry that's very popular right now is B, what, what's kind of loosely sort of referred to as BYOD, uh, mm -hmm. but basically the, the huddle room slash uh, simplification of system distribution where you're sending all your signals through a wireless network. Uh, can we expect something new in that product line of yours? Definitely. Um, the, what you've seen from AMX over the last two years is a real renewed focus on the smaller spaces. As you know, with your history uh, and, and the industry, AMX has been a big player in the larger spaces for many, many years. But we've got a really renewed focus on more cost-effective solutions for the huddle space and the smaller conference rooms and classrooms. Part of that is, you know, the wired connectivity solutions with our Hydroport line mm -hmm. and the retractors and things like that. You'll be seeing some areas, you'll be seeing some, uh, some announcements in that area. But also in the wireless, uh, uh, wireless portfolio with the Enzo product line. Uh, again, bringing out the MirrorOp technology and working with MirrorOp to enable some additional features. I've been getting some tr fantastic traction on that product, and uh, so you can expect to see some uh, there also. 
And in the booth, you'll see, just like we did last year at ISC, uh, you know, everything broken up into solution areas where we'll be demonstrating the huddle space solution versus the, the classroom lecture theater solution versus the, the, the more formal conference room solution there. So we'll have a, a great platform for demonstration of the, uh, of the new technologies we're bringing to market. And you'll take advantage, from what I understand, of the the Harmon uh, Group, uh, and you're 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 obviously now owned by Harmon, by showing uh, systems that include Harmon products as well, because they've got some great uh, respected lines. I mean, JBL, and I mean they've got a, a host of audio. You're you're sort of representing the switching and video side, right? Of right. Harman. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. This is going to be the first show at ISC where we have a combined uh, floor space, right? And so. Um, with that, our Jeff Kendig, our, our VP of Marketing, has done all the design work uh, for the booth and worked very closely with our Harman Pro um, uh, other business units to really have a nice, nice, nice layout ISE. So you'll see when you come into the AMX area, the solution layout, and then we'll, then we'll have the product areas, but then we'll also have some really fantastic areas for the other Harman Pro business units. Um, and it, it's going to be a great opportunity for us to meet a lot of the other guys that uh, we've not had dialogue with so far, but it's really going to have a really neat um, market um, uh, message there because what we're doing here and again we're only about you know eight months in so you're not going to see a tremendous amount you'll see some but not super deep technology integration but that's that's coming and so this is going to be the first show we're going to kind of highlight how these things are going to start to fit together but as we go into infocom and other shows after this you'll start seeing some deeper integration we're really excited about yeah, and you're actually, when you walk in the show floor, you immediately go to the right, and you're in yeah. Hall 1, and I believe it's 1F, is that correct? Or yeah. What, what? yeah, F6, but F6. As, as soon as you walk in, take that right, you'll run right into us, and uh, we're just going to go much deeper than we did last year because we have the combined uh, Harman floor space with us, too. Right. And and uh, and what about new products? Like, are you going to surprise anybody at ISC with a completely new category of products or, or, or will we mostly see um, improvements and new versions of the current categories of products? You're going to see uh, you know, a lot of improvements and enhancements. You will see a new product category from AMX. Um, it's going to be shipping around the Infocom time frame. We are going to announce at ISC, though. And again, any, I any hints? You can't give me any hints at all? Yeah. I'll give you a hint. It's really tying into this, you know, significant trend that we're seeing. This transition to to web conferencing away from the traditional codec uh, type of thing. So you saw us last year uh, introduce the Sereno video conferencing camera targeted at the huddle space. There's another accessory that um, we're bringing to market to help facilitate uh, a better uh, experience in those in those type of web conferencing environments. Yeah, and the, and the nice thing about that product line that you have is it's compatible with everybody's systems. It's exactly. it's not it's not proprietary, and you, and for that matter, you don't actually have to use a control system. I mean, basically, it's it's plug and play with everybody's systems. That's a exactly. it's a good product exactly. line, and it's and, been good. Yeah, and that this what we're talking about here, same type of thing. It will be you, you could use it with our product line, or you can just use it as a standalone uh, accessory to really facilitate a great web conferencing uh, uh, scenario. Well, since I've got a product manager on the on the on the line here, I, I do have to ask this question. You may not answer the question, but I do have to ask it. What is your plan, or have you made any public announcement about your plan with integrating HiQNet? HiQNet. So um, let me let me. I'll tell you what, Gary. If, if uh, I can, uh, I'll definitely go into that discussion with you and and uh, be very transparent. So during the integration phase, phase one of the integration between Harman and AMX. From a product and a technology perspective, our role was really a, a, a tremendous amount of knowledge transfer between AMX and our video technologies, our control technologies, and the Harman Pro audio technologies. And I tell you, um, very it, we started that in the July timeframe. We started with just doing web conferencing presentations to each other. And then in September, we spent a week in Salt Lake City, which is where Harman Pro's uh, gurus are. Yep. Um, and then they did a big knowledge transfer to us. And it was myself and then the head of engineering, uh, all, the, all of our heads of engineering and directors of engineering. And then we followed that up a couple weeks later with bringing all those guys here, all the Harman Pro guys to AMX, and spent a week here where we did a more of a data dump uh, and, and deep dive on our video technologies. And I tell you, one of the things I am most excited about, there, there are some fantastic technologies, both on the audio side and video side, and everybody was really impressed. I was most impressed with the culture match. Anytime, and again, we've done our own share of acquisitions, Anytime you're doing an acquisition, what matters more than what's on paper is the culture match of the people. And what I was most impressed with is with all the Harmon Pro guys, their passion, uh, their deep, deep, deep passion for creating a great audio experience. And just as we have guys that are deep, deep, deep passionate about providing a, a simplified control and, and video experience. So there's been lots of discussions. We've been diving down deep on uh, our ICSP protocols versus HiQNet versus others. 
And we're starting to have those discussions about what is the right way to move forward. Now, none of these things will, will happen overnight, of course, right? right? Yeah. But as we start looking in some of their networked audio technologies and how that fits, um, then we start making those discussions about how do we incorporate that? And then what's the user experience? Because the guys who are installing a lot of that audio gear especially in some of these environments that we sell into in the professional environments, may not be the same uh, type of personas we've been shipping product into. So we want to make sure that that experience is correct. But um, having HiQ Net at our disposal and then also having some of these network uh, audio technologies and with their scale, the amount of access to um, processor technologies that we weren't able to touch in the past is really exciting. Really yeah, I, I always said uh, years ago, I worked with uh, when they first started before they actually launched the product. I was actually part of a group that that was um, um, sort of consulting on, it, I guess you could say. Um, yeah. And uh, Blake had this vision for where he'd like to see it go in the future. And I, I said to them at that time, and this is almost 10 years ago, that this technology is ahead of its time. I mean, yes. in other words, the hardest thing they were going to have to deal with is the fact that they're 10 years early. So, But now you do have the technology that's caught up with the vision. And, mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and you have a company like yours that has not only the control part of it that could sort of unify the control because even with Harman saying we want all of our Harman companies to use the same protocol, mm -hmm. you still have connecting other devices, the on-ramps and off-ramps from other devices uh, yes. being compatible, but also the video side of things. I mean, HiQNet can do video if you wanted it to do video. It's just not something that Harman's focused on, obviously, because they right. haven't had a video company. So I fully expect, even though you probably aren't willing to admit it, that we will see HiQNet video as well, or video on the HiQNet backbone. Yeah, and, and from uh, when we had our engineering guys, our systems engineering guys digging down into HiQ Net, there was a lot of things in there they saw that were very impressive, right? And things that we could take a lot of advantage of. So, um, and we'll make the right decisions as we go forward. Um, but uh, it is very exciting about some of the things we'll be able to do um, as we uh, start leveraging each other's technologies. And for those of you who are on the line that don't know anything about HiQ Net, you can go to Harman.com, but you can also go, you can just Google HiQ Net. There's actually a good Wikipedia page that sort of explains the technology and I'm sure that AMX has a has a link on your page as well and of course for those of you who, who aren't already integrators I think you know I think most people are integrators and, and are dealers of, of AMX and you, or if you're considering uh, 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 considering AMX just go to amx.com um, of course you can follow along with all of our ISE coverage at the ISE show at ravepubs.com um, Sean, I appreciate you joining me today, and I do expect I am going to find you when I get there yeah. at ISC on the night before the opening of the show, and I expect you to take me through somewhat of a booth tour to you tell bet. me to, to show me what are the new products that you're launching because we want to be the first ones out there to talk about them. So I, I, I realize that, that you have a, a reason for secrecy right now. The other thing I want to mention is I know Jeff Kendig. Ken, Jeff Kendig yeah. and I have been on a number of, uh, of committees together. Uh-huh. Um, you talk about a guy that's ahead of his time. That guy is almost too creative. So I don't know how you actually build the booth he probably came up with. But uh, but hats off to Jeff because he is super creative. He is. And I, I, the problem is we've not seen him for about six months. He's been traveling extensively. He's been visiting, you know, Martin over in Denmark. He's been visiting all of the other uh, Harman Pro players to really get a deep understanding of how their products should be demonstrated. He didn't want to just apply his creative skills and put something in position it the wrong way. He really wanted a deep understanding of it. But um, he's done an excellent job, and I am so looking forward to actually walking. I've seen the plan view drawings. I'm so looking forward to walking through it and seeing it. So um, it's really going to be exciting. And we're going to, by the way, we're going to do the same thing at Infocom. So Infocom, same thing, combined space, Jeff Kendig designed. It's going to be beautiful. So you're going to have a little, Jeff, a little signature, Jeff Kendig yes, design? Yes, <laughs> yes, designed by Jeff Kendig, yes. Exactly. Well, look, another little thing that people should know is every afternoon, in the afternoon starting at 5 o'clock at, uh, at ISC, I, uh, AMX kicks off a, an afternoon reception with free alcohol and hors d'oeuvres. And, and they actually, from my understanding, everyone's invited, not just the people watching this video cast, right? That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. So uh, that's something to check out. And I also understand you're still going to have your little cafe inside the booth as well, so it's a good place to relax. But it is uh, Hall 1 F6. Is that right? As soon as you okay. come in the main doors, take a right and run right into us. Right. So instead of going straight, take a right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you don't <laughs> want to go straight, trust me. <laughs> No comment, no. No <laughs> but I get it. But uh, yeah. but in any case, uh, we've been talking to Sean Robinson. Ch uh, connect with him on uh, on LinkedIn. It's S H A U N yes. Robinson R O B I N S O N. Check him out at ISC, uh, Vice President of Product Manager at AMX. And uh, Sean, I know you're busy. I'll see you in two weeks. And uh, you you have now made a promise. So two weeks from tonight, 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to be in your booth, in your stand, expecting a, a tour of those new products. You got it. You All got right. it. My All pleasure. Right. Thank you very much. You have a good evening, and uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Gary.